Today's jazz guitar lesson follows on from one I made a couple months back about how I practice small pieces of jazz vocabulary. I prefer smaller chunks of vocabulary to learn, much easier than long licks to remember and parrot and copy. And I'd rather take something small and then do my own thing with it and integrate it into my improvising. And a lot of people would just refer to these lines maybe as like get out of jail lines. They're just classic moves that people tend to know. Now, the tab notation you see on the screen is available, link in the description, as well as a link to my Patreon page. For those that missed it, and I'll link the first video in the description, this was the line from last time. Played over a dominant chord, going to the one chord. So that's played over a G7, and it resolves to the third of the C major 7. And in that video, we I broke down how you could then integrate that into longer lines, something like this. A one, two, three, four. And the small move we're going to look at today, I would call it the round midnight move. And it's using uh, an arpeggio on the two chord, so on, uh, say, a D minor 7. And this is just an arpeggio, but we're going to do much more with it. So this is the line and just getting it in different places. Make sure you, you can hear that, sing it, natural place for it in a 2-5-1. There, so on that two chord. And what we could do is combine the idea with last month's idea, so go... Bit of a jump though, I'm not so sure about that. I think what we want to try and do is have a smoother move to that G7 chord, so let's try the idea. And instead of jumping for a G, go to the nearest note of a G7 chord. And then we're going to go down until we hit the, the third of C major. So we went... Move one, three, five, seven, which is what it is. Da, ba, 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 ba. So it's that move. That's the round midnight move. And we're landing on the third. We're on the seventh. You finish on the seventh of the D minor seven, go down semitone to the third of G7, and then I'm playing flat nine, root, flat seven. And much like we went from the seventh of D minor to the semitone down to the third of G7, we're gonna do the same here. 7th of G7 to the 3rd of C major. That's the flat 7 to 3 resolve. There. There. It happens twice. Now we descended from that 3rd of the G7 chord. What if we went up and went... That's another classic move. So although I showed the move at the start just as, just as the arpeggio, really it's that next note, isn't it, that completes it. Going down a semitone to a B. And one thing we could try is use the tritone instead of using G7, play D minor, D flat 9, D flat 7 to C major. So we could do something like this if we did that. And there, got the move, and then when I go to the note B, I'm doing a D flat 7 arpeggio down. A 7, 5, 3, 1. Finishes this on a that bow on a D flat semitone above the C so nice smooth fluent move riding the bar lines if you like there and taking the idea and instead of having it going over the 251 having a 251 with the tritone so D flat 7 D flat 9 instead of uh, G7 so we have our small bit of language and um, one thing we did last time is if you've got something small you can then work on approaching it from above or below so let's try that so in this next example, I'm going to approach the, our start note by doing a, like a, what we call a double chromatic going. So playing two frets underneath it. You can do that on beat four, so you go one, two, three, four, and then into the line. Here it is. One, two, three. There again. One, two, three. In that D minor seven bar, I, obviously we changed the rhythm. We came led into it, like chromatically leading it up to it. Then did the idea, and then did the ninth to the root. Then they, we did the C to the B, the semitone resolve into the G seven. If we tried approaching it from above, we've got our start note a D. Let's do a triplet on beat four. 
approach it from with use three notes da, 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 down into it da, 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 da. but that's coming on beat four so it's like one two three ba, da, da, do, da, do. and that's another way we could do it let's hear this one two three <laughs> So that small little bit is hidden in there, but it, it's something easy to hear, very accessible. It starts from the root, but just by, in those two examples, starting from below, starting above, just makes it sound different, obviously leads into it quite nicely. Now, if you've got a small piece of jazz language, as well as approaching it from below and above, you can do the two and enclose it. So hit it from above, then below, all the other way around. So if we move the idea to here, I'm gonna approach it from above, a tone above, and then a semitone below. That's my start, E, C sharp, then the idea. And again, this starts on beat four, so one, two, three. One, two, three. Just that, just with da 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 da, we had, or and I could make those work there as well, though, or or the enclosure, and then we're just getting much more from our line. We're being much more flexible with it, and we can mess around with it, and it doesn't sound 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 the same every time. Now this piece of vocabulary works on the two chord, so I've been using it in this video on D minor seven and a two five one in C, but quite often people will play ideas that work over the two chord on the five chord and vice versa. So you could also use this on G7. So you've got this sound. We could do something like this. One, two, three, four. And then it sounds, obviously I've added some hammer-ons in there going between the minor and the major third. It sounds very different against this sound. But you can see it still works, so you can use it over dominant chords too. Um, either remembering that it's from the two chord, or you can remember that it starts from the five of the G7. Either way would work, would be one way to remember it. And I'll leave you with this. One way you can take an idea further is again through substitution. Now, one classic sub you can get is on a one chord you can play the three chord. So in the key of C, chord one is C major seven. Chord three would be E minor seven. Now this is a, a minor seven idea. So if I took the idea from an E minor seven, but played it against a C chord, it's gonna give me the sound of C major nine because E, G, B, D, that's the third. Yes, it's E minor seven, but it's also the, against the C, it's the three, five, seven, and nine. So it could also work there like this. One, two, three, four. I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. Don't forget you can get the notation and the tab, link in the description as well as the link to my Patreon page. Don't forget Jazz Guitar Lessons every Wednesday. Till next time, you take care.